hello everyone welcome back to my channel so now in this video we are going to do our last topic of the chapter inflation which is measures to control inflation we have studied many things about inflation like its meaning types how it is caused demand pull cost push and we have also seen that what bad effects are caused by inflation so it is very necessary to control this and now we are going to study certain measures which helps in controlling inflation so let's start this video without any delay see there are two measures of controlling the inflation first one is monetary measures second one is fiscal measures now what is monetary measures first of all you have to know that monetary measures are the part of central bank that is RBI is a bank of India and fiscal measures means fiscal policy is a part of a government. So all the work of monetary policy is done by central bank and all the work of fiscal policy is done by government. Let's first understand what is the meaning of monetary. Monetary, the term monetary means it is related, related with money means when there is an increase in or increase or decrease in a monetary or money supply or in an economy then the role of central bank appears means only central bank has the power to control the money supply according to the situation whether he can increase or decrease depending upon the situation like whether it is inflation or deflation now Monetary, monetary policy or monetary measures are of two types. First one is quantitative and second one is selective or qualitative. First we will study quantitative measures. Quantitative measure means so through this these measures central bank control the supply of money in an economy and it, it can be done through open market operation, bank credit and legal reserve ratio. Now I'm going to explain what are these things. First of all, we will understand what is bank rate. Now see, just as we people take loans from commercial bank and commercial bank give some interest to us. Similarly, commercial bank also take loans from central bank and in that case, when they take loan from central bank they have to pay in some interest to central bank that interest is called bank rate and when the in case of inflation mean well in inflation we know that money supply is very much higher at that time so what central bank will do to control inflation they will increase the bank rate why because when bank rate increases the commercial bank have to pay more interest means they have to pay more money to central bank means more money and they they get less loan and if they get less loan they provide less loan to their customers also and in that and when customers get less loans less money from commercial bank they their demand will decrease and ultimately the money supply will decrease and same is the case in vice versa now second one is open market operation now what is open market operation open market operation means the sales and buying and selling of government shares debenture bonds and securities in a market which is purchased by central bank which is purchased yes now how this will control the money supply when at a time of inflation money is very much higher at that time money supply at that higher at that time so what central bank will do they will sell all the secured government securities in the market and those securities will be purchased by commercial bank by giving some money, their money to central bank and when they purchase all the securities by giving money they left with no money or less money in their hands so they unable to provide loan and and when they unable to provide loan the demand of our customers decrease and in this way prices will decrease and inflation will be controlled 
सो दीज आर द पॉइंट रिटेज मेजर्स ऑफ मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी द लास्ट वन इज लीगल रिजर्व रेशियो सी दे आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिजर्व रेशियो सी आर आर एंड एस एल आर मीन्स कैश रिजर्व रेशियो एंड स्टैचुरी लिक्विडी रेशियो सी आर आर इज अ रेट विच इज विच सेंट्रल बैंक हैव टू कीप विद डेम सेल्फ एंड एस एल आर इज द रेट विच कमर्शियल बैंक हैव टू कीप विद डेम सेल्फ now how this will this reserve ratio will control inflation let's see the reserve which commercial bank is keeping that is slr is reduced by rbi at a time of inflation means they have less money and which means they provide less loan to their customers which ultimately decrease their demand and control the inflation and vice versa You can also take the screenshot of these notes to read later. And if if you have any doubts in these, you can ask me in the comment section. And please, if you are finding my videos useful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So now let's continue to our topic. So our next measure is first one was quantitative. Now next one is qualitative or selective control measures. Now how money supply will control through this? Uh, and that is there are certain points like direct action moral suasion and publicity etc now what is direct action at the time of inflation if central if commercial bank is providing loans to the customers and he is and they are not listening to the central bank then central bank can take direct action against those com do that commercial bank who are not listening to them next one is moral suasion moral suasion means here request is made by central bank to commercial bank to not to provide loans to and to their customers so that money supply can be controlled and in publicity central bank arranges conferences meetings seminars and in that seminars conferences they tell commercial bank that how this money supply is controlled in an economy so i hope you are clear with this so let's move to next topic which is fiscal measures i've already told you that fiscal policy is a policy for government means it includes all the government expenditure and its revenue like where government is doing expenditure and from where they earn revenue so this is the policy of a government now how money supply with inflation is controlled through this fiscal policy or fiscal measures it can be done in three ways first one is public expenditure second one is taxation and third one is public borrowing first we study public expenditure see what is public expenditure it's public expenditure means expenditure which is done by government for the welfare of the society means for us uh, expenditure which is government is doing for our people for fulfilling our demand so in order to control the inflation or at the inflation time the government have to reduce the expenditure because at that time price price is a high because the demand is also high and to reduce the demand to control money supply the government have to reduce its expenditure because when government expenditure is reduced the demand will be reduced and prices will be fall and money supply will be in control next one is taxation now taxation is we know that taxation is imposed only by government so it is a tool of fiscal policy so at a time of inflation government what government will do first firstly we will we have studied that government expenditure has reduced and on other hand government increase the rate of taxes so that the demand of uh, people reduce and they will buy less and prices will be controlled and inflation will be removed last one is public borrowing public borrowing means when government borrow from uh, central bank or commercial bank or within or outside country or from public is known as public borrowing so this is another way of reducing the demand and control the inflation how when government start taking loan from public from general public like ex then the demand of our people will reduce and inflation will be controlled because prices will also fall and inflation will be controlled in an economy so these are the points of our measures 
to how to control the inflation i hope you are clear with the, with these points if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section and please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching this